Hey guys, welcome back to lasergravevisit.com and I just wanted to make a quick video on how to engrave on something that is thicker than a half inch on your Glowforge. So, let me get my caliper out. And I have a hammer right here. And... The hammer is showing 1.14 inches thick. So if we were to put this on the Glowforge, it would return an error if we try to engrave on it. And uh, I know it's next holiday coming up is Father's Day. Um, so people will start wanting to engrave on hammers. And I uh, thought this would be a good video to help you guys out if you're trying to figure out how to do it. So, let me show you what it does when you place it in the Glowforge and try to engrave on it. So, I'm just going to set it straight on the crumb tray here. I have it just sitting on the crumb tray. And I will insert some plain text here onto the hammer. Okay, press enter, and there it appears. Make it look bigger. Okay, and I have medium maple plywood engraved settings. And click the three dots and set focus. Okay, so you see, when you set focus, it returns an error here. And it's because the hammer is so close to the camera, and it detects that the hammer is bigger than a half inch. And so it won't la allow you to engrave on this hammer here. So I'll show you how you get around that in the next steps of the video. Okay, so as you saw earlier, the hammer will not engrave because it's taller than half inch. And like I showed earlier, it's a little over an inch thick. And so what you'll need to do is pull this little side compartment off. Take the hammer out and pull out the crumb tray gonna slide right on out okay I'm gonna set that right here and let me grab the calipers Let's just see how thick the chrome tray is the chrome tray is 1.3 inches thick and so when you add the hammer it's a little over 2.3 inches so one thing that i'll be doing is adding some um, material to the bottom of the glowforge to bring it up some so let's see, I have three quarter inch boards here. And that gives us 0.59 thickness. So if we add the inch from the hammer, that'd be 1.59. So I think this will work. So if you don't add anything to it to the bottom of the glowforge and you just put the hammer on there i don't think one inch 
is enough for the glow force engrave look because the crumb tray is 1.3 so if you just have an inch it's not gonna engrave on that either so we put the material down here to raise the hammer up off of the bottom of the glow forge and that will allow us to be within the range of where the glow forge likes to engrave or cut on so let's close this back up and we'll test it out and see if we are at the right thickness now we now have it loaded up in the glowforge app with our material down there so let's um, set focus again and see if it will work now Okay, so it looks like the set focus did work. Let me rotate just a tip tad. And I'm sure as you guys can see, this is just an old hammer hammer that I've had laying around the house. And uh, if it messes it up, not a big deal. This is just a personal hammer that I had, and it already has all kinds of stuff on it. So, um, let's see. Let's click the print button. Okay. This engraving will take 4 minutes and 48 seconds. So, let's go ahead and get started and see what happens. Let me turn the fan on to the S6, full speed.
So that's how you engrave on an object that is thicker than half inch. And those hammers will make a great Father's Day gift if you wanted to put a Father's Day saying or um, stuff like that on it. And um, a lot of people um, like those within the local marketplace. So if you go ahead and print out a few of those hammers, go to Walmart or Amazon, anywhere that has some low cost wooden handle hammers, you guys can make some good money um engraving on those for people so um thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something and it is storming outside today so, thanks for watching